Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to another Truck and Stuff Thursday. And this Thursday we have a whole bunch of different vans. Now we're going to start out with the Johnny Lightning. Look like a green light black bandit. But looking at the base... says Johnny Lightning, I'm pretty sure, because it has a microscopic writing. And this is going to be uh, Champion DJK's van. You can see it says 10 Car Tuesday. My other car is an auto rolled. Champion DJK, thanks from Johnny Lightning, and free the peace. So a huge shout out to Champion DJK. Absolutely amazing that Johnny Lightning did a van for him. I mean, how awesome is that? That's when you know you made it big in the diecast world when diecast companies are doing exclusives for you. I actually think this came out in a release. Uh, I don't think I have the other variation, or maybe I do, I don't know. But the other variation did not have none of the bumper stickers. And I should have bought more than one of these when I could have. The second one is going to be another Johnny Lightning. Or this is a racing champs. Never mind. Those are rubber tires. They kind of looked plastic. So really cool racing champs release. And the next one's going to be a racing champs. And it might be the other variation for this one. But I love this one because this... When I think of a van from like the 70s or maybe even the 80s, I think of something with a paint scheme on it similar to this. Or this one. So, absolutely amazing van casting from Johnny Lightning. And Racing Champs. It's owned by the same company, so I'm pretty sure. No, this one's a lot heavier. This one has side pipes. And it's a lot heavier. So it's a completely different casting. Almost looks like the back doors on the Racing Champs opens. Or at least they may have at one time. So Johnny Lightning's definitely a little bit wider too. These back doors are separate pieces. Oh, they do open. Holy crap. Check that shit out. I did not know them back doors opened. How about that? That's really awesome, the racing champs. See, that one has a cage in the back of it. Well, that was a cool surprise. Now we're going to switch over and check out a couple green light. And we're going to start out with the most iconic one first. And 
And that's going to be the A team. Man, them doors, when they're shut, you almost can't even tell they open. But I think I like this variation a little bit better. I really like this variation. Don't get me wrong. But we have a dirty variation. Which I think this one came out by itself. But there's also a dirty variation that came out with a truck. In like the Hitch and Toe series. Which I did not do not have the truck. These are the only two variations of it I have. The only two I need. But I do have a white variation, which it looks awesome in freaking white. Love this van casting. Definitely looks like they got some glue on the window there. Green light just kills it with their windshields, I tell you. So, of course, this is the GMC Vandora. There it is in white and blue. Really cool paint scheme. The next one's one of my favorites, though. And it's one I originally didn't pick up, and I had to go back and try and find. And uh, sometimes some of these van castings can be hard to find. So if you see something you like and you can't find it on eBay, I'm sorry. Just keep an eye out. Keep looking for it. Hopefully you'll eventually find it. Uh, some took me a long time to track down. Uh, I'm sure this champion djk variation is not easy to find uh they did not make very many of them but this one howling at a moon you wouldn't think would sell out like it did but it ended up selling out and then i had to wait until one came available or I might have purchased this one from Heavy Metal 164. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure one of the van variations I could not acquire, I ended up purchasing from him. And then we have another casting from Greenlight. It's going to be the 77 Chevy G20. And then this one looks really cool when they do it in a work thing. And I really don't like, like when they do stuff like this. But with these vans, I don't mind it. So I didn't, I didn't get out no Volkswagen vans. Guess this is all American vans. I could do a whole episode on Volkswagen vans alone. And I have no idea what release this is. Oh, this is another Johnny Lightning. How about that? 6-2-2021. So it just came out last year or this year. And it's an orange. Man, it looks good in orange. Almost looks like that door opens. 
Love the what they did with the windows, though. That is freaking awesome. Uh, the next one's a green light. This is a KVWN San Diego. I'm pretty sure this was a Hollywood release for some movie. And the next one is going to be another green light release. And this one has a plastic base. I think this might have came in a diorama or something. Or one of the four or five car releases. And then we have a really wacky old looking old racing champs. Yes, this is actually a racing champs. Racing champions, 1999, made in China. But man, I like the paint scheme. Pretty cool paint scheme. And only a couple left for this truck and stuff Thursday. Make sure to like and subscribe. And leave comments. Love reading all your guys' comments. I try to respond to every one. Here's another green light. Flat black. This thing looks freaking amazing in flat black. Absolutely love it. Then this green light Dodge van or uh, Ford, Ford van, only brought one out. Like I said, I did not bring out all my vans, but this is a 1968 Ford Club Wagon. And I love how this thing is yellow and a little bus paint scheme. Because this absolutely reminds me of like a little church bus or like a little a little sprinter bus or something that they would have. Really cool. I got a bunch of different releases of this from Greenlight, even one weathered. I probably could do a whole nether truck and stuff Friday or Thursday. Uh, on all my green light and Johnny Lightning and Racing Champ vans. Because I only grabbed a handful. And I probably have another handful I could grab. But the last one, and it probably was the hardest one for me to acquire. And it's going to be a Johnny Lightning 2000 or a GMC. 2500 might be a 2000 GMC 2500 and this was probably made back around then but as you can see it is a Blair Witch Project van tell me how freaking awesome that is that Johnny Lightning did that if you didn't know Johnny Lightning made this van you have to uh like this video you gotta hit the like button or you gotta gotta subscribe you gotta comment down below because if there's one thing i love about having a youtube channel is being able to show die casts that i don't see on anybody else's channels being able to show you guys stuff that you might like enough where you have to go after it. And when you have to go after something, it might not be available when you first look. And you might have to keep, keep
keep looking on eBay every day, every couple days for weeks, months, years. Finally, finally, you find it, you see it, you're able to get it. You might even get it for a hell of a deal or a good deal. And uh, it, it's as good or a better feeling than finding a super treasure hunt. To me, it's better than finding a super treasure hunt. Finding something that I've been waiting years for the opportunity to purchase. But with that, that's all I got to show you for this week. Uh, kind of been getting into knives lately, watching a bunch of knife reviews. Uh, there's so many different knives out there now. So if you guys would want to see a review on a couple knives or something, let me know. Uh, I know I try to only post die cast but uh i do have a youtube channel and uh if people are interested in watching it then uh i'm happy to post about it uh my airbrush i would love to post a video on my airbrush uh like the do's and don'ts and things that i did wrong and uh things that i would do different if i had a second choice so uh mistakes i made that maybe if I share with you guys, uh, if you're interested in the same thing, maybe you guys won't make the same mistake. But uh, stuff that can reach a broader uh, audience group, uh, not just diecast collectors. So that's something that a lot of people could maybe relate to uh, with the airbrush. Uh, the same with the paint review videos. Uh, even if they're not painting diecast cars, uh, it's still the review video on the paint uh, might help them. They might be painting larger scale diecast cars or larger like models or uh, radio control cars or something. So uh, if you guys want to see other content, just let me know. But uh, this is like my first modern uh, pocket knife I've bought. And uh, it's D2 steel. So that's not a super steel or nothing, but it's a really good steel and it's a even flow. And I just love the way it works and everything it has this at uh, Benchmade came up with this locking system, but uh, the patents up on it now. And this is the sharpest knife I've ever owned. And I've carried a pocket knife on me every day, every day since I was like 12 years old. So I've always had a pocket knife that I've carried and uh, I actually love the blade design and I love all, how you can open it. There's a different opening. You can open it with your thumb or your pinky, which is like pretty fun to open a knife with your pinky. So I got a couple more knives coming. I wanted to test out different locking mechanisms on knives to see what I liked to carry every day. Uh, in case you wanted to know, I carry a Kirkshaw every day. I got a Kirkshaw that's an older beat up Kirkshaw that uh, I use every day at work. And then I got a nicer Kirkshaw that is my going out knife. Like uh, I, it, it's a nicer leak and I've had it for like t 20 years. Uh, both of them I've had for almost 20 years and they're good knives and serve me well. But uh, really thinking about buying a Benchmade because they're American made and uh, they're the ones that came up with this locking system. And uh, I think they have a lifetime warranty, uh, at least on some of their knives they do. But let me know down below if you guys uh, collect knives or know anything about pocket knives. And uh, I would love to know your guys' input on it. And uh Definitely let me know which one was your favorite band. But thanks for watching. Have an awesome Thursday. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I got tons more videos coming. Uh, I even got some custom videos coming. And I got some paint reviews coming that I want to get posted. So definitely tons of content to come.
Appreciate everybody's support. Love hearing your guys' feedback. So any feedback you have, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.